Wow. 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 people them so this uh now i found them and i don't want to forget them i was gonna do another rachel hardy uh reaction but i'm actually gonna jump into some london grammar um so these have definitely been on on a radar for me i mean this is back in 2014 so um i've, I've definitely heard of the group um, and I've definitely, definitely seen clips of them and I'm sure that actually that I probably will know some of the songs as they're playing but I wouldn't know what they're called, I wouldn't know how they go, like someone said to me, Luke, first off, do you know the name of the group? I, like, I, I struggled for about 20 minutes trying to find that, um, but now that I know the name of the group, like sing me one of their songs. I won't be able to do it, but I know if I heard something, I'd be like, I'm sure it's London Grammar. Like, I know they've got this really cool tone, I think. Um, so, yeah, I really want to react to some of that and just see actually what they're about, get into a little bit more of them. And I think, like, since um, reacting to Aurora, it's really just opened that part of my brain. It's just so switched on to music like that. Um, like that Rachel Hardy one that I've just reacted to um, of... Um, a dear friend across the river um again that kind of very lofty i, I keep using the word ethereal because it's the best word i can use to kind of describe this other world fantastical like sound that's coming from like some mystical creature almost so this is them at the big weekender um bbc radio one so um it's six minutes it's got 12.7 million views let's see what i've won Hey now. Okay. Mm. That's gonna feel nice and it to come out to like applause like that. Mmm. Wow, the control. Wow. Wow.
I just, this is so surreal. I feel like I recognize this song. Such a unique voice. So clear and clean. living for days. Like, I cannot even begin to tell you how much that was like, that was like a lullaby. I don't know if you saw my eyes, like I literally, I was like, you are, you are taking me, like whatever portal you just opened, yeah, whatever or portal you just opened to this like myst mystical land of fairies and goblins and all kinds of other like mermaids and whatever, you open that portal and I, you're luring me in, I'm just like, I'm so, <sighs> like, mate, like, that is so incredible, like her voice is so hot, like, it's so unusual, like, and and yet there is so much control, like, do you know, there's so much control in her voice, and it's and it's quite powerful as well, like, considering that, like, it's not, um, I don't know, doing all the, I, I'm always referring to Jeff Hudson, but, like, the, it's the first example I think of when I think of what I do, like, like, all that kind of stuff, or, like, a Jasmine Sullivan riff and runny. Um, it's not like that, but it's like it's still like it's just so haunting. Um, the lighting, like how they're playing the little little things in the background, <laughs> like just little things that, that just give it like that whole. And I say again that ethereal feel, but like she can sing me 
anything. Like I'm, I'm thinking actually, I might need to get a bit of London grammar into my chill playlist because, like, if, if I'm looking to kind of just chill out a little bit, like, and just zen. Do you know what I mean? Like that. That was lovely. That was really, really, really. Like I, I feel so like. Uh, I don't know what the song's about. I actually don't know what the song's about. So if anyone can tell me what the song's about, that'd be great. Hey now. Um, if I look at the song. That'd probably be the quickest way for me to find out what the song is actually about. Um, so, uh, uh, is she talking about, like, letters burning by my bed for you? I can feel my instincts here for you. Like... I don't know, like that could be letters that she's written to someone that she really wants to send to someone but she can't send them because she's too nervous telling how she really feels or it could be that like someone's left and it's the stuff that they're stuck in their house and it's like I just, like well, your presence in my home is just burning and, and you can feel it and it's frightening but I, I, I think maybe the former, maybe they've got all these feelings and it's scary, it's frightening, light lightning that the, you know Leave it to the wayside like you do for you. Imagination calling mirrors for you. Calling mirrors for you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, man. I, I mean, this, this is my very much initial take just by listening to the lyrics. But um, I'm sure after, what, 2014? That was nearly 10 years ago. So, like, I'm sure by now people know exactly what the song's about. So if you would help, help a brother out. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think of London Grammar, um, what you think my next reaction request should be. Um, I can't believe they've not been in my list. Like, that song was so, so, so mentally soothing. Like, I feel so, like, just at peace. <laughs> um, Anyway, thanks for watching with me. If you did enjoy, then do drop me a like and subscribe. That'd be amazing. Um, and I also do have a Patreon. So if you do want to head over there and show any kind of love at all for the channel and for me, any support at all would be like greatly appreciated. Thank you. And come join my amazing patrons that are over there already. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. You get to meet all of them. But for now, thanks for watching with me and I hope to see you on the next one. <laughs>